So I've got a confession. I feel like most of the DistroKid videos that I watch are made by people who are specifically trying to make affiliate sales on DistroKid. And so they're just pushing it and they're just promoting it and they're like, ha I make so much money with it. And it's like, of course you make so much money with it if you know, you're like affiliating the heck out of it. And look, I'd love to be like those people and I'd love to make affiliate sales, but I am a normal musician and I haven't made a single affiliate sale with DistroKid. But I did almost make money with DistroKid this year. What is up, Yoshis? My name is Beth, and a couple years ago, I lost all of my song recordings to an Apple Music syncing issue. Yeah, like over a hundred songs, like just thousands of hours lost because Apple Music was a terrible, terrible time and uh, decided not to sync all of the files that I had added on to it. And um, of course, we can't blame Apple Music completely because I was the fool who didn't back up my music. And so I am the fool who now has vowed to never let that happen again. And my solution to this is to simply upload my music onto the internet so that no matter where in the world I am, no matter what is happening, as long as I have access to an internet connection, I have my music with me. And I chose to use DistroKid because DistroKid was the most affordable way to do this. If you've been dropping music on DistroKid, let us know in the comments real quick before we get into this. The thing I like about CD Baby is that you pay one price and you never have to pay another price again. And so you're just, your song is just on the internet then. And DistroKid has this feature too, but what I do is I just pay 20 bucks a year. A year, guys. 20 bucks a year. That's less than $2 a month. And all of the music that I could possibly want to throw up on the internet can be thrown up at any time from any place as long as I have an internet connection. And I mean, you know, as a musician, you want to make money off of your music. And streams are like pretty much the most terrible way to do that because unless you're Taylor Swift, you're not going to make a lot of money from streaming. Yet. The first year that I had DistroKid, which was 2020, you would think it would be a great year for that, but no, I made like $4. I dropped two EPs, so I had like 12 songs on all of the platforms, uh, Spotify, iTunes, Amazon, you know, the good places. But all of the streams that made me those $4 were pretty much mine. Uh, or my brothers and my fathers and my mothers. So uh, I really didn't make that much money on DistroKid in 2020. But in 2021, I also dropped two EPs. Three. I uploaded three different EPs. Uh, th like the first one was actually music from the year prior and then the other two EPs were brand new music from this year. I made a single with some of my young friends and I dropped a Worship Pads album. For the first time in my life, I had listeners, I had streams from people who weren't me, my immediate friends and my immediate family. And I made $19.06 in 2021 from DistroKid. <laughs> Editor's note. So, uh, when I recorded this, um, and I checked my distro kid, like, that morning I had $19.06. Well, okay, so, like, 24 hours later I log in to, like, do the, the video video part, um, and I had, you know, made these new numbers. And so, um, <clears throat> yeah, on January 3rd I had not quite covered my expenses, but by January 7th I had, in fact, like, broken even in terms of my that year's investment into DistroKid. So uh, take that into consideration that I don't understand where or when the money shows up, but um, yeah. Now again, <laughs> the price for a year is $19.99. So I was like legitimately probably like maybe a hundred, maybe a thousand streams away from breaking even last year. And if you think about it, from $4 to almost $20 is like a 500% increase. So no, uh, DistroKid isn't paying for itself yet. However, for the low, low price of $40 total, I mean, it'll be 60 by the end of this year, I'm able to have my music and avoid the crisis of faith that was me losing all of my music a couple years ago. And so I share this with you to just let you know that I think DistroKid is legit. The payment scheme is worth it to me because for $20 a year, I mean, come on, it's like a great backup service. And it's a great backup service that allows me to listen to the stuff that I have made wherever and whenever I want to. Why wouldn't I pay those $20? So based on this data from the past two years, in 2022, I have every intention of completely paying for my subscription with the streams. To this effect, my plan is simply this. I'm gonna make more music. My goal is still to make 12 songs in a year and that adds up to either one album or two EPs, which I find two EPs tends to be better. And I'm gonna try to diversify where people are listening to music from, like 90%, by, by far the lion's share of the income that I made in DistroKid last year was from Spotify. And I'm pretty sure that both iTunes and Amazon actually pay more if you use their services. So I'm gonna try and get more listeners on these different platforms, which should help increase my 
revenue. And I'm planning on continuing to making more of the kinds of music that does really well. The last EP that I dropped actually brought me in 17 new listeners according to Spotify. So uh, it sounds like I should make more music like that so that I can continue growing my audience, growing the amount of streams that I'm getting and just finding myself a little bit more fun in this whole wide world of actually having music on the internet. And I realized that the music that I have on the internet it's kind of trash mixing and like kind of trash songwriting, but it's fun. And there's no one out there being like, oh my gosh, you can't do this. So like, why not do it? I'm totally doing it. And if you would like to do it and help me to uh, <clears throat> cover my DistroKid sales, feel free to use the link in the description. Yeah. If I do make income from affiliates, I will be dropping a new video letting you know that congratulations, you have done this. But I have no expectation of that happening. As far as I'm concerned, we're just both friendly musicians who are trying to make our way in this great big world. If you've been doing this for longer than me, you might actually have some more tips maybe on how to do this well. I'd love to hear from that and I'd love to learn from it. And I thank you guys so very much for being a part of the collaboration that we get to do here on the internet. Thank you so very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.